What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com, back with another SketchUp quick tip for you. So uh, in the past we've talked about using styles to change the way that your model looks for more of kind of an artistic type flair. Um, now we're going to talk about how to save those to a folder so that you can open them and so that you'll have them in future models. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So uh, first thing is this is a model I've downloaded from the 3D warehouse um, and this is called Forest Hill from W. LeMay. And um, so this is just a model that I want to bring in and I just want to apply a style to. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a new style. So to do that, um, you're going to come over to the style section of your tray. You're going to click this little button that says create new style and you're just going to name this. So I'm going to call this Justin example style. So you can go ahead and hit enter in here and uh, you can go ahead and click this update button that'll update your style with any changes that you have but what you're gonna do is you're gonna come in here and uh, we're gonna make a couple quick changes just for the sake of this demonstration so in this case what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off profiles I'm gonna turn on the jitter on the lines on this I'm probably going to um, make this kind of a black and white look and uh, we'll go ahead and change the front and back colors so that they're the same because um, in this case I want these to all be kind of the same shade so you can just come in here and you can select this display shaded using all same uh, we're gonna come in here and make a couple other changes in here we'll turn the model axes off and all of that so just giving us kind of like a hand-drawn slightly sketchy look in here is all that we're doing and uh, I've got a couple different videos um, about working more in-depth with styles but in this case what we're gonna do is now that we've made all these changes you're just gonna come in here and you're gonna click this update button um, right here and anytime this image has the double arrows on it that means that you've made changes that haven't been saved so when you click this it'll update the style with your changes and so you can see that now you've got this style in here that makes your model look different and uh, it's gonna show up in your list of in model styles and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna save a copy of this style so we're gonna right click on this and uh, make sure that it's the style that you that you uh, want to save but you can just come in here you can right click on it and you can click save as and when you click save as what that's going to do is that's going to pop up a box where you can save your dot style file so in this case this is a, a style file is basically a file in here that um, contains all the different changes that you've made to the way this looks so if you have like a watermark or anything like that it'll save it as a part of the style if you remember in the past I uh, created a video showing you how to make kind of a pencil drawn looking style um, so I have that saved in here as well but basically you can go ahead and you can save that and SketchUp should default to your styles folder in here and what I've done is I've created a, a folder in here called custom TSE styles and basically that's just where I'm keeping the styles that I've created that I may want to use again so you can go ahead and click save in here just like this and so when you do that what that means is now when you click this little drop down you've got all your SketchUp default styles in here but then you've also got your folder that shows up called custom TSE styles and what that has in it is that has my custom styles in here and you could cre you could uh, create some more folders in here if you wanted to to kind of organize everything but now what I've got is I've got this example style I created I've got another style over here and I've also got my pencil style that I created in that previous video um, so you can come in here and you can apply that and so basically what that means is now you can keep all of these old styles and start building up a collection because you're gonna find that you're gonna use the same styles over and over again in your models and so this lets you build that up as a library and uh, the other thing you can do is you can come into your uh, window preferences and if you go down in your SketchUp preferences to the files section, there's a section where you can actually set the folder where your styles are located. So if you wanted to change the location of this, like for example, I work on different computers sometimes, um, you can come in here and you can set this to a folder on like an external hard drive so that you can take all those files with you. But basically what that means is now if I come in here and I open up a new SketchUp um, version or a new window of SketchUp just like this with a new model in it so now I've got a brand new model in here but if I go down to my styles section basically anything that's in your styles folder in SketchUp should now show up on this list just like this so you can come in here and you can select this custom styles 
so that I can go ahead and apply these to even like a default model just like this. So I can start off with these styles in there. So that makes it real fast and real easy for you to come in here and just kind of create a, a library of the styles that you like. And if for whatever reason that doesn't show up, you can go ahead, come in here and click open or create a collection. And then you can just select that folder and click select folder. And what that means is that folder is going to show up in here um, on your list. So for whatever reason that doesn't show up, just navigate to your folder that has all of your styles in it. Select that and click select folder. So anyway, this was just a real quick overview of how to, to save a collection of styles so you can open them in new models so you always have them right at your fingertips. Uh, leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Um, is this something you're using? Are you doing much with styles? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. Um, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you really like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. Uh, that just helps me keep bringing you great SketchUp content. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.